Well, it looks like it's actually happening, doesn't it? Plans are afoot for a million-person pro-Palestine march on Armistice Day. I actually can't believe how disrespectful and distasteful this is. I think if people felt truly British, there is no way on earth they would organise marches over Remembrance Weekend. No way at all. One of the organisers has rallied protesters to make the 11th of November National March even bigger than the half a million that paraded through London last weekend. One of the groups behind it wants to do things like boycott Israel, boycott Coca-Cola, boycott Puma, in case you didn't guess it. It has another aim. <coughs> the right to boycott. Yes, that's right. Boycott HP, the technology company, not the source, as far as I can tell. Their catchiest one yet, I think, for me, was pret apartheid Apparently, pret a manger wants to open in Israel, and they must be stopped. To be honest, I'm surprised the pro-Palestine lot don't want Israelis to be inflicted with a press on every corner charging £10 for a bang average sandwich. Look, I support the right to protest. I support the right to have voices heard. And I understand that people feel incredibly strongly about what's going on between Israel and Hamas and the plight of people on both sides of that conflict. But can't they have a weekend off? Isn't that common decency? To remember the people who fought and died for their right to be able to have these kinds of demonstrations. I think this is a visible sign that some people must not feel proud to be British. If they truly felt pride in our country, there's no way they'd have a demonstration. I don't think that anybody who felt truly British would spend the Remembrance Weekend surrounding the cenotaph, climbing on statues, letting off flares and chanting from the river to the sea all being associated with anyone or any event that will inevitably lead to that. Armistice Day and Remembrance Sunday are key dates in the British national calendar. They are not to be messed with. I thought, surely, surely, some people helping to organise this one million person march on Armistice Day just haven't thought it through, OK? Maybe that's the excuse. They just haven't thought it through. Surely, if it's actually pointed out to them that it might be offensive to do it on Remembrance Weekend, they would come to their senses. We actually put a call into one of the people involved in the march and asked for their response to concerns that they were hosting it on that particular weekend. They just quipped, are you not concerned a genocide is taking place? People are being killed and you're worried about some flags over the cenotaph. We explained to the chap that the cenotaph and Remembrance Weekend is dear to the hearts of British people, a national day of, of mourning, of remembrance for our war heroes. But the sentiment seemed to be lost on him. Pressed again on why they chose Remembrance Weekend and whether they would pay respects to our war heroes for the minute's silence, the man huffed and puffed before demanding that we don't call him again. And then he hung up. Yeah, OK. Our brave military veterans were on the right side of history. They've done more for this world and this country than most people who've ever lived. These protesters, in my view, will be on the wrong side of history if they march on that weekend. And in my view, they undermine our military hero's sacrifice.